Hello and welcome to the Drive School. Today we are going to work further with a grid converter. We are going to put parameters in the software application that is needed for the grid converter. We are going to download the software and set up the parameters according to our simulator setup. We are going to connect it to the city grid and we are going to run from our laptop computer for commissioning. The frequency converter is a regular frequency converter straight out of the box. So to make it into a grid converter, we have to download the software for the grid application. On my laptop computer, I have stored this VCN file. Here under application that I have stored, I will find the latest version, which is 106 version. Okay, and start. I will select replace all. That means everything application wise should be overwritten with this application. While the application is loading up, we take a little look at the nominal values of this grid. The local city grid is a 420 volt AC grid. The frequency is 49.97. Why not 50? Because there is some load drooping going on on the city grid here. The transformer that I have got here have a ratio of 440 to 400. It's a 30 degree phase shift in this uh, transformer. The cosinus fee in the whole system is about 0 0.85 and the drive that I'm using is a drive 40 ampere. License code 9314 will only work with the serial number for this drive. The battery in use have a nominal of about 730 volt DC. And now we are going to put these nominals into the drive so it knows what kind of grid and battery we have got. Now that the application is uh, downloaded, we open NC Drive, which will have only the default parameters. This is the parameter list. And here we got all the parameters in one big list. To differentiate a little bit better, we can select a chapter, for example, basic parameters. And here we see that the grid nominals and frequency and so on is default parameters. We know that we are using 420. And the frequency should be 49 point 97 system rated current 40 amps cosinus fee is correct kilowatt ampere sorry kilovolt ampere is 27 kilowatts 23 nominal dc voltage with this battery is 730 Um, we are not paralleling transformator grid converter side should be 400 volts on the transformator side should be 440 and the phase shift is 30 degrees now that we got the basic parameters in place we also need to take a look at the license. Here we need to enter the license code which is 9314 for this drive. Now we have set the nominal parameters. We have to take a look at the microgrid mode and we change it from active fronten to U-grid mode. Here we can see that it's set to start power mode, ISO synchronous. We are not connected to a grid any yet, so we change it to drooping. Here you can uh, select between several modes, but basically we are using 
the drooping and the isosynchronous. In the chapter for grid voltage PI regulator, I check that it's turned off. It's turned off when it sits 0 0.1 there. It's turned on when you go 0 0.2. But for commissioning now, without a grid, I want it to be turned off. Otherwise it will affect my voltage, so I will be confused what's going on. Also the field bus we will take a look at later, but I will put in the numbers, the ID numbers, so that my screen will show what's going on in the process. So I copy this from a previous project, so this way we'll come back to how it's done. In the chapter for protections, I turn off this thermistor fault response because I don't have a thermistor, so I put it to no action. And now a little bit about reading the manual. Uh, there is a good manual for the microgrid application and here for each parameter you can find an ID number. Typically for this frequency drooping there is an ID number 1534. Let's find this description of the, the parameter in the manual. This is the manual for the grid application and we wanted to take a look at the specific parameters. It had ID number 1534, we search for it and we will find here. There is some information. With only those few basic parameters in, let's try to start it just like it was a uh, shore power. It's not synchronizing to any grid yet, it's just making its own grid. We have selected the operating window, PC control. My laptop is now start stop of this system. I can reset any faults, hit the start button, and the thing starts. Here I can measure, take a look at values. The current is pretty low now, 1.6 ampere. Total current, active current is 2.9% of 40 ampere. Reactive current is 2.7%, that is to the LCL filter. All the currents you see here now reflects the consumption and the losses in the LCL filter. It's running in open air, so to speak. Now we got a grid that is powering a consumer. If we look at the voltage, the voltage is 418.5. We asked for 420. Let's see what happened when we activate the PID regulator. The consumer is adjusted to exactly 420 volts. So the PID regulator sends on the grid voltage and adjusts accordingly. So the losses overall our transformers and filters are now compensated. Thank you.